Why am I wearing running clothes? Because today I want to talk to you about tracking submissions. I'm Joni Stanklin, and I'm here at Richard Hugo House in Seattle. And I know it's a really bad joke, but seriously, I'll bet you get these in the mail, the old self-addressed stamped envelope. In fact, if you're like me, you get a lot of them. And how do you keep track of where you've sent your work and, and what's come back rejected and what on a really good day has been accepted? And how do you avoid sending the same poems back to the same place again? My solution is not very high tech, but over the years it's worked for me, and I'm happy to share it with you. Here I have a really basic Word document, very low tech, and uh, it's called Submission List, so that's easy for me to figure out. Below that I have all the poems that are ready for me to send out. And below that I have a list of the different journals that I've sent to in the past. I'll scroll down, you can see that there are a few here. Now let's say I want to actually send this poem, this group of poems, out to Chestnut College Quarterly. So I'm going to cut that because it's not going to be available anymore. And I'll come down here and I'll paste it in. And now I want to add the date that I'm sending, so I'll type in the date. Oh, I like 2009, that's just me. And now in order so that I know that they're out, I'm going to select this and come up here and apply highlighting. That way when I'm scrolling through my document, I know, okay, I have poems out to Elm University Review and Fabricam Magazine, and, and uh, these are made up names for the purposes of this demonstration, but you know, you, you get it. Now let's say that poems come back from Fabricam Magazine, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'll select this and do the reverse. I'll come up here and I'll say no color. And then let's say, just for fun, that Fabricam Magazine has actually accepted when the ghosts get bored. So I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to bold it. And that just lets me know if I see a bolded title in my document, I know that that poem was accepted. Now the rest of these are available again, so I'm going to select them and I'll say copy because this time I want them left down there. That's what gives me my history of what I've sent there before, but I'll come up here and I'll paste it in and those poems are ready to go again. Now let's see, I'm going to be really organized and I want to send them out right away, but I'm not sure where. I can highlight this. I do like color highlighting. And I'll just make it bright green. And then I'm going to scroll down, try to see you know, where I've sent stuff recently, don't want to send again too soon, all that kind of thing. Um, I haven't sent here for about a year to Loblolly Pine, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply that same color and and now I'm just going to be so organized I'm going to go back and I'm going to try to find a place to send these poems but I'm going to give them a different color so I don't get confused I'll make them blue hopefully those colors are different enough and uh, let's see I think I'll send them to Tamarack College Review so I'll highlight that. And then if for some reason I get pulled away, something happens, and I need to come back to this later, I can tell where I, what I was thinking of doing. So that's just something I like. Now, I also, because I do have this whole history, say I want to find out all the places I've sent the bully crows to, I can come up here, um, click find, and I can say, Bully. I'm going to click Reading Highlight and Highlight All. And now I can just scroll through and I can see all the places that I sent that poem, which is kind of a few. And if I'm done with that, I can just clear highlighting. So you can see that this is a really simple solution for tracking submissions. It just uses basic features of Word. It isn't high tech. But it does give me a history. I can go back 10 or 11 years or more and know exactly where I've sent things. How do you track submissions? Let me know. And in the meantime, keep writing. <laughs>